Okay, we are now going to assign taxonomic classifications to the data we have here. Okay, so we have four samples. So we also have a database ready, and that is the 16S server database. Because we are dealing with more than one sample, I thought it's wise to prepare a script so that we can use that script to take each of these samples and then perform the taxonomic classification. So let's go to the GitHub page and then I'll show you the script we are going to use. So on this page, just search for classifyreach.sh this far here and then click it. When you click it, the command will be displayed for you. So I'll explain a couple of things here. This command will create a directory called Kraken Reports. So this directory is where the reports will be stored or saved. And we have also defined the database that we are going to use. That's the system SDB. And then we have the commands here. So there are four commands, one for each file. So I have Kraken 2. I also have use names, which is an option that we use to specify scientific names. And we also have the DB, which is here. It's used to specify database. We have threads, which is four. You can increase this number. There's also this option here, confidence 0 0.1. This one, I indicated it because the Galaxy tutorial stated it here, confidence 0 0.1. And then I also specify the output file for the reports. That is here. So we are saving the reports in the Kraken underscore reports directory, the one that we created here. And we also have JZIP compressed. So this here tells Kraken that the input file we are using is compressed. Okay, we are using fastq.gz. This is compressed. So that is why we have this flag here. So that's it. And then we save the output to the Kraken as called reports here. So for each file, we are going to generate two outputs. We have the reports and we also have this um, main file here, the main Kraken um, report file, which is here. So that's what you need to know. So it's the same options that have been used for the other files. So that's about it. So now I'm going to copy the commands here and then paste in another file. You can download the script also and then use it. But I will copy and then paste the command. So I'll copy everything and then I'll go to the terminal. So on the terminal, I will open a file. So I'll say nano classify reads.sh and then I'm going to paste the commands there. Okay, so I have pasted the commands here. So I will exit and save changes. And then I will add execution rights. So I'll say ch mode plus s, and then I'll say classify reach.sh. I'll do an ls just to check the file, and that is here. So I'm now going to execute the script. So I'll say dot slash classify reach.sh now with the execution you can do it this way or you can also specify bash you can also say bash and then just specify the script name but i prefer to do it this way so that's it so i'll run this script okay so we can see that kraken is doing its work okay so everything has been done so we have the summary for each file so this one we have 83.6 percent of the sequences have been classified and then unclassified is 16.34 percent so you can also check for the other ones so what we see is that majority of the sequences have been classified so uh, that is okay so let's check the outputs so the outputs can be found here. If you do an ls, you'll find this directory called Kraken underscore reports. So this has the report. So you can say ls Kraken underscore reports and we are going to find the files there. Okay, so we have eight files, two for each sample. So that's what we have. 